for good actions and for Chen, here are some good insights from the African Trade for Economic Transformation. My name is Edward K. Brown. I'm the Senior Director at the African Center for Economic Transformation. Our mission at ASSET is to support African governments and businesses in their efforts to improve livelihoods and grow the economy. ASSET's value proposition of transforming Africa within a generation implies that we undertake a number of in-depth analytical work that enables us to engage with top leadership. Leadership is very, very important. For me, if I'm going to now invest in Ghana, the first thing that I'm going to look at is His Excellency first, the President. I see a man of his words. I'm not going to follow that, yes, the economy is growing 8% or so. No, I will first of all go and read that speech of Mr. President. He brought interest uh, rates down. He, you know, he did quite a lot of things to turn around the economy. What we tried to do was to provide an analytical framework for defining transformation. Transformation is, we are talking about our people, the African people of each country of our continent. And we are talking about resources as well of different kinds that have to be put to good use uh, for the outcomes we want in the process of transformation. Assets programs are focused around three areas. One is the analytical work. The second is the advisory where we convene, we bring countries together. And the third is advocacy. The African Transformation Forum is organized every two to three years. The last one occurred in 2018 in Accra. At that forum, we were able to bring together three African heads of states, Paul Kagame of Rwanda, Ghana's president, Nanado Dankwa Akufuado, and the vice president of Cote d'Ivoire, Vice President Duncan. These three individuals, with also some of the Africa's top net worth individuals like Dan Gote, were also there to exchange views on the key challenges that confront Africa. We're talking about the role of government. What is the, what the state can do to facilitate the process of transformation? We're talking also, we're looking at the role, of course, of the private sector, the business community, what it can do. And then the larger civil society, what support it can bring, it can give to the principal act. In this sphere, we've brought together a number of eminent scholars whom we define as the Transformation Leadership Panel. This panel is led by no other than the former president of Liberia, Mrs. Johnson Selif. We need to do more to ensure that ASSET has the resources that it needs to carry out its work. The transformative research and analysis that's done by them uh, can be a game changer for all of Africa if we get the resources to enable them to expand uh, the work that they do for each and every African country to assist them in achieving their transformative goals. For this transformation to be sustained, we have to address some critical issues of today and tomorrow. Otherwise, all the progress we've made will not sustain. At ASSET, we've always argued that we don't allow a disaster to go to waste. We've all witnessed the effect of the COVID-19 on many African economies because they have weak health infrastructure. These are areas where governments need to focus a lot more on to invest in, in health infrastructure, to also invest in education because without education, the, the African workforce is not going to be able to be future ready and to deal with the, the nature of work that is fast evolving. Without education, you would have massive youth unemployment you would have massive migration out of, as we see today, a lot of Africans are braving the Mediterranean to go to Europe because there are no job opportunities in Africa. And also, there are not enough well-trained workforce. Jobs exist, but the kinds of jobs that exist, we do not have the 
kinds of workforce to fit that kind of job. Chez nous en Guinée, 83% des chômeurs sont des jeunes. Qu'est-ce que l'État guinéen doit faire C'est sur ce point que nous avons travaillé. Nous avons fait des recommandations et ces recommandations vont nous permettre de trouver des canaux de communication. Ces recommandations vont nous permettre de trouver une stratégie qui va nous aider à trouver la solution pour la jeunesse guinéenne. What is critical at this time is that countries must begin to harmonize their procedures and regulations in order to ensure that they have a common approach, in order to ensure that we can continue to operate within a securitized space in West Africa. So it would also be in East Africa with the East African community. We at ASSET welcome very much our participation in the Brazil Africa Forum. We consider this forum as an important learning platform that would engage many African countries in learning about the interconnectedness between the continent of Africa and Brazil. Thank you to the asset for these amazing insights. Well